subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Nope. And today, we are going to get into a Chrome tip. And today's tip is how do you find what is your current theme? So where would this come in handy? Well, let's say, for example, that you like a certain theme quite a bit, but you want to use it at school or work or some other situation. But in those situations, you don't want to sync the information because you don't want the your password, your email information on the school or work servers. So you need to know the exact theme or email it to yourself and that way you can have a similar look and, and function browser so how do you get this well let's go into extensions first because that's the easiest if you go to settings and then extensions that's lists all your extensions right there but themes they will not be listed at least currently they're not listed so how do you find them you will need to go to the following C drive users your username app data local Google Chrome yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll leave a link to this I, I'll just replace my username with user username or something like that and that way you can copy and paste it and just make sure you change the username to whatever yours is and um if that doesn't work then just copy and paste everything up from here and um, that that way you can at least get to that far but what you're looking for is if you can get to default is preference so if you go down to preference and open with a text document or so in this case notepad you will be presented with something like this now this is going to be a lot of blackout in here because there's a lot of um, security information in here and I am not going to read this word by word code by code to figure out what I can and can't show so I'm just going to show you what is necessary so when you open preference don't change anything but hold down it real quick control and f or just go to the menu and open fine control f is this hotkey for fine then put in the fine quotation theme quotation what i'll advise you to do is start at the bottom and mark the direction going up and what that will do is if you go to the first one right next to it you will see id the id you need to copy that let's do that paste that in and there you go here is the theme so it's that simple and if you want to email it to yourself, you just copy this link and paste it into the email itself. And that way you can find the actual theme you're using. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to show the themes within the extensions. I, I really will wish that they would. But unfortunately, I don't think they're going to do that anytime soon. And I think every time you download a theme, it deletes the previous one. So I think that's the reason why they don't show it in extensions. Because extensions, you can just disable them and they can linger around. But themes, I don't think they can linger around. I think their one is installed and that's it to save space. But anyways, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And also, please feel free to ask 
or leave anything down there in the comment section. If you like this, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share, and please feel free to follow us on Twitter so you know when new videos come out. If you don't like this, go ahead and leave a dislike, but tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of Tech Views Nope, and hope you have a great day.